And it is your voice, your vote tonight. We're in the final days of the Ohio primary election season. Attack ads flooding the airwaves, you probably noticed, here and across the state in Republican House primary races. Here's Josh Krupp with Why It Matters. Tis the season for campaign season and political ad season on your TV screen. Some follow templates, others do their best to stand out, like one congressional candidate in Southwest Ohio. Massive inflation, open borders. I guess the wall does work there, Private Rhino. Then, of course, there are the attack ads, like the ones airing in various GOP House primaries across Ohio. Fake conservative tax and Mike Tussie. This job killer will get your job next. There's at least one reason you're seeing so many ads for these local House primary races. To find it, you have to go back to January 2023 and the start of the current legislature session. Lucas County's Derek Marin previously won an internal vote among Republicans to be the next Speaker of the House. But when the official vote happened, 22 Republicans voted with 32 Democrats to instead elect Jason Stevens, a moderate Republican from Southeast Ohio. That's the Democratic minority leader holding the Bible for him as he was sworn in. The move caused divisions that still linger in the Republican Party, and it's been a topic on the campaign trail. I don't think we should do dirty deals behind the backs of our colleagues. Republicans betrayed our own party. The Speaker, of course, decides what legislation heads to the floor for a vote. But they also control the campaign cash for the fundraising arm of the House GOP. You see its name at the bottom of those ads. Marin and his supporters tried to get control of the group's money in court, but failed. This cycle, records show it spent more than $3 million, mainly to help reelect Stevens' allies. Speaker Stevens has led a conservative agenda. These power struggles over speakerships is what causes the problem. Another speaker struggle could come next year as the most powerful Senate Republican enters the House. Senate President Matt Huffman is switching chambers and is likely to challenge Stevens for his position next year. The more allies Stevens has next year, the tougher it will be for somebody to take the gavel from him. And that's why it matters. Josh Krupp, 13 Action News. And in your